All right, good morning, guys. Um, so I'm going to run over what we did in last class and how to set up the uh, trim marks and fold marks in your layout. Um, like I said before, the interior of your design does not need to have these intricate marks. You can print these um, interior uh, pieces for your for the protection part and uh, keep the lines in there. But um, you know, definitely make them like a hairline um, stroke, and then you'll be all set. All right. And remember, you only have to create one of these. Uh, you don't have to create all four. All right. So to set up the lines, all we do is we create little line marks, like so. And we attach it to each of the fold lines. And the trim lines, and I just move it away a couple, um, a couple of shifts. So this way, this here would be a cut and a fold right here, and then we just make a copy, bring it down here, and then make another copy. Right, and then let me do the other side. Right, so now we have lines that are being used to cut these um, arcs. I mean, uh, I would just do the best you can if you do have um, arcs in your design. Um, if they're straight, then you're good to go. And then one piece of advice I would have is have your document open. So this way, then you can see um, where the um, what line should be cut and what line should be folded. All right, because if you're looking at this as is, um, it could become a little confusing depending on how intricate your design is. Um, but yeah, if you have it open and then you know, you know, I'm going to be cutting to this point here and then scoring this point and then finishing cutting here. All right, so this way you don't accidentally run your blade all the way across this entire uh, piece. Um, yeah, so, so this is how you set up the, the trim marks for your uh, inside. All right, the other thing I want to go over is what we did uh, for a few of you who are doing images. Um, and you know setting up that um, the different colors um, so this way you strip out the color from this photo the first way is to simply use a gradient map um, I've done this before for printers um, it's not the 100% correct way but it is a way and like I said there's, there's always you know multiple ways of doing things so the first way is you set up whatever color it is that you want in the foreground. So Scion. Um, and then you have it go to white. You go to adjustment and go down to gradient map. And this here will basically take the, the Scion to white gradient and just overlay the coloring of the image. All right, so then you hit okay. 
then you save this as a TIFF. Um, you know, again, make sure that um, your image size, especially if you're taking something from the web, is not set to low res. Um, always make sure you have resample turned off. So this way when you add in the resolution, it doesn't change the physical size. It only adds the pixels into the square inch. All right, hit save, okay rather, and then save it as a TIFF, and then that can be brought into Illustrator. The other way is uh, using a dual tone um, or monochromatic in this case. Um, so what we do is first you have to come up here and you can see dual tone is grayed out. So we have to backtrack in the grayscale to rip out all the coloring in the photo. And then when we go back up to mode, you can see dual tone is now selectable. So you hit this and then over here, um, you can hit monotone, hit 100, go to cyan, hit OK, and then here's, here's the representation of that uh, single color. Over here are your curves, so if you click this and you want to tweak the, the, the coloring um, and the levels of that coloring, to try and bring down some of that contrast, you know, because you can see some of that detail is lost. But as we bring it down, you can see you end up losing some of the snow detail. So there is a give or take. All right. Um, same thing. Hit OK, and then save this again as a uh, TIFF, and then bring that into Illustrator. All right. So hope that works uh, and hope it's helpful. But um, if you have any questions, please let me know. All right. Have a good day and I will see you later in class.